All right. I'm gonna try to use the warrior voice from Legends of Runeterra for this ruined pantheon, but it might wreck my throat. Here's hoping it works. Ooh, pretty. On the peak of Targon, the sentinels behold a strange sight. Beams of white cosmic light swirl about the thick plumes of black mist, each repelling the other like oil and water. Also, we all climbed Targon, so we get to be aspects now, right? And the Eye of the Chaos. Viego retrieves an old copper sundial. Though green with age, it shines with a magical luminescence. Ooh, it'll match his sword. How nice. There she is. Another piece of my love. Thank you for your assistance, Aspect. We are called to destruction, be it by war or harrowing. Ooh, nice mustache. Yes, yes, go make your wars now. Off with you. Drop the fetter, now. Ah, Senna, I knew you'd come to your senses. At last, you've come to relinquish your peace of my beloved queen. Keep dreaming, ruined creep. I've come to make sure you don't leave Targon with that fetter. We've got a moon goddess, and we ain't afraid to use her. He speaks true. The night matron has come to bring dusk to your reign. Ah, then it seems I must respond in kind. Oh, Pantheon! Before you run off to plunge the world into endless war, perhaps you could wage a small one right here? I will wet my spear on their bones. With a single mighty swat of his spear, Pantheon knocks the sentinels off the peak and sends them crashing onto the plateau beneath it. Oh, wow, I think I just broke my blade again. And maybe my tailbone. If it's a war this fellow wants, it's a war he'll get. Ah, I feel the rage coming over me. You must be reborn as I was. Through combat and suffering. <laughs> Pantheon, you jerk. I was at the peak ready to be greeted by the aspects. They would have given me amazing powers. I will never forgive you for this. We can take this guy. We've got Diana and we outnumber him. Pantheon pounds the butt of his spear, <laughs> spear, on the ground in a steady rhythm that echoes across the surrounding valleys. And response, an entire army of wraiths materializes at his rear. They bear matching armaments and lock their shields together in a tight phalanx. I had to say something. Pantheon raises his spear aloft, and his army of wraiths advances towards you with shields and spears raised. Oh, would you look at that? They've got matching uniforms. And their synchronized movements are so snappy. <sighs> Can you not admire things that are trying to stab us? The sentinels attack with a volley of gunlight. But the shots deflect off the shields of the Wraith Phalanx. Oh shit, they've learned tactics. We're not getting through. Strip their shields. Yeah. Olaf runs down the row of Wraiths. Try saying that five times fast. Knocking each shield away with his axe. Riven joins in as well, smashing through the Phalanx's defenses with her blade. They're open. Everyone fire. The bladed sentinels continue to strip away the raid's defenses, while the other sentinels follow up with gunfire. In a matter of minutes, Pantheon's wraith army is destroyed. Oh, I need more water. No matter. I am an army unto myself, and by my spear you will know all war. Pantheon drives a spear at Olaf, catching him in the... Helmet? Okay, and knocking him head over heels. Let's just say his skull's thick enough that it counts as one. He clubs Riven with his shield, knocking her to the ground. Then Pantheon thrusts his spear at you. Oh my. Rookie, look out! Diana leaps in front of Pantheon, deflecting his spear. She hooks the curve of her crescent blade around the rim of his shield. Atreus, if you're in there, you must listen. You have lost control. The Ruined King has corrupted your mind with lies. But there is hope for Targon. I have seen it. There is hope in war. 
seeing her words are wasted, Diana pulls Pantheon's shield away with her blade. Now! The Sentinels fire on Pantheon with everything they've got, except for Rookie, whose gun only really teleports people. He staggers back toward the oof, edge of the plateau, and Grand Star falls thousands of feet toward the valley below. Whee! Farewell. Could have just as easily been me climbing this end, but maybe next time. Any sign of Viego? No, he's no fool. He's long gone by now. Gone to collect all those other pieces of her. Let us pursue him then. Lucian and Senna exchange surprise and smiles. Why do we wait? We are going to pursue him, right? Listen, uh, Night Matron, you're a god. Your place is here, on Targon. That's right, what about your followers? You saw those people in that cave. They need you. They need a future, and they will never have it so long as this evil persists. As sure as the night must end each day, I must help you end this harrowing. Lucian and Senna confer in private. Senna? I do like her enthusiasm. The fact that she's a god doesn't hurt either. Yeah, is there something special I'm supposed to call her? I don't know. Never met a god before. With some uncertainty, Lucian turns back to Diana. It'd be an honor to have you on the team. Uh, your holy night moonness. You may call me Diana. Diana, right. Just fire up the Wayfinder, kid. Later, at headquarters. A dispirited Senna cleans her relic cannon to mope about he sold some more. <sighs> Come on. Can't believe it. Everywhere we've been, he's kicked our butts and sent us fleeing back to headquarters with our tails between our legs. We haven't stopped him from taking a single fetter. Eh, yeah, good point. True, but you also gained another Sentinel. Across the room. Wow. Diana has just returned from her fitting. Oh, I love her blue. Look at eyes. Look, everyone. Isn't she just the height of marvelousness? The sentinel gold really, bring, really brings out her luminosity. <sighs> yeah, another sentinel. I just wonder if it'll make a difference. Senna continues cleaning her gun. Her small personal cloud of black mist rides around the weapon, dancing with the warm white glow emanating from its barrel. Well, Sentinel Diana, you ready to stand in the light or fall in darkness? Lucian suddenly looks uncomfortable. Uh, I meant stand in the moonlight or fall in darkness? Not darkness as a night. I've got nothing against night. Damn it. There's no way of making that sound better, huh? It's fine. I do not take offense. Many are ignorant of celestial matters. The light of the moon fights the darkness, too. It is no different than sunlight. In fact, it is all the same light. Perhaps one day Targon will realize that, and what we now see as opposites can peacefully coexist. Lucian turns his gaze to Senna. He sees her black mist interplaying with the light from the relic gun's barrel. Yeah, sure hope you're right about that. Well, that's uplifting. <laughs>